If you've plugged in your Stream Deck to your PC and it's not being picked up by the Stream Deck software, that can be a daunting thing to see. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Adidas Technology and let's fix this problem. So the first thing that you're going to check for is actually your USB connection. Now the Stream Deck Neo comes with a Type-C connector but most other Stream Decks come with a regular USB 3.0 connector. When you're plugging them in into your PC, make sure that you plug them in onto a USB 3 port. Make sure that the connection is proper and just try moving around ports in general so that just to make sure that it's not a port problem. Moving on from that, uh, you should try to restart the Stream Deck app. So what we're going to do for that is uh, head over to the system tray, right click the Stream Deck app and click on quit Stream Deck. This will open up a small window, uh, pressing keys won't have any effect, I know, click quit and that's it. So now right click the start menu and click on task manager. In here we're just going to search for uh, stream deck. Now we've closed the program so there is no reason why it should be running here but this is just to check uh, in case there are any instances running. You can also close Stream Deck directly from the task manager uh, if you just want to skip the part and make sure that you completely kill the process. So it's not running at all. We've seen that. Now we can now close this and uh, launch Stream Deck again as usual. Give it a second and it should immediately detect your Stream Deck. If not, let's move on to the next solution. The next step is to go ahead and check your device manager just to see if there are any problems with the drivers when it comes to USB. So right click the start menu again and head over to device manager. This will open up this window. Now uh, we're going to have to do some digging in here but you should see this or you should see your uh, stream deck show up in uh, one of these universal serial bus controller headings. So uh, I have G502X Plus, that's my mouse, so that was separate other controller, USB composite device, generic USB hub, that's not what we're looking after. Alright, essentially when you see a Stream Deck show up here, uh, it could also just be running with a generic name such as uh, USB composite devices or things like that. So you can double click to open them and just check through to see if you find any sign of your Stream Deck. As you can see, there is nothing here and uh, we can't find our Stream Deck. So is it not connected to our system? That's not true. What we're going to do is that we are going to reinstall USB drivers. So just click a uh, run uh, for scan. Just run a quick scan. And uh, once you're done, we are going to come to our generic USB hub. Right click it and click on update driver. Now it will ask you to search automatically for driver. So there are two ways you can fix this. Um, number one is to of course search Windows drivers. It will tell you that you already have the best drivers. So if that doesn't work, you can head back to your browse my computer for drivers. Click on let me pick from a list of available drivers and you can install the legacy driver that's present on your system. Once you're done with everything, click next, apply all the changes, restart your system or unplug and replug the stream deck to see if that functions. Finally, if that doesn't work either, your best bet is to try and reinstall the stream deck program and download the latest updated version from Elgato. Uh, doing this is also very easy. Just right click your start menu and head all the way over to install apps. Now I'm just going to search for Stream Deck in this list and as you can see the software appears right here and it's gone. Stream Deck. Yep. Right here. So what we're going to do is uh, go all the way to the other end, click on these three dots, click on uninstall, then click on uninstall in the warning that Windows shows us. And once you're through with these steps, your Elgato Stream Deck should be back up and running with no problems. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.